A few thoughts now on corporate responsibility. United Airlines dealing with new fallout tonight after one of its passengers was forcibly removed from his seat and dragged off the flight. That passenger, David Dow, a doctor, a physician from Kentucky, CEO Oscar Munoz, was almost dismissive of United's treatment of Dr. Dow yesterday, saying his airline is reviewing the incident, only apologizing for, quote, having to, as he put it, reaccommodate these customers. That's a corporate word, isn't it? Reaccommodate. But Munoz later defended the airline in an email to United employees, saying outright the passenger was disruptive and belligerent, adding, quote, our employees followed established procedures for dealing with situations like this. But today, Munoz, who seems to be probably the last person you would imagine to be in the customer relations business, seemed to realize the depth of United's affront to the public, to his customers. He offered his deepest apologies some two days after the incident occurred, saying, quote, no one should ever be mistreated this way. I want you to know that we take full responsibility and we will work to make it right. It's never too late, he said, to do the right thing. He hopes so. Munoz may hope uh, that it's not too late, but it's really up to the flying public, his customers, who he has insulted. And, of course, Munoz's apology today coming only after the company's stock had lost nearly a billion dollars in market cap at session lows before recovering to a loss of some quarter of a billion dollars. Well, it took days to get to an apology for an outrageous act that never should have occurred in the first place on that United aircraft or any other airline for that matter. Munoz, well, he need apologize no more. The passenger to whom he found it so difficult to apologize at the outset will very likely see him in court, where he will be more interested in justice and significant compensation for his pain and public embarrassment than any half-hearted apology by a halting, stammering CEO of United Airlines.